Welcome to the show, and what a great show we've got for you tonight. Hope you're going to enjoy it, but before we go any further, I must explain one thing. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your point of view, I'm not in the studio tonight to do the links for the show. I am, in fact, speaking to you live by satellite from Red Square here in Moscow. And the reason I'm here in Russia is an oversight by the BBC. You see, I was supposed to be here next week doing a documentary entitled Russell Harty Meets the KGB. Well, we're all going to do that now. Let's just get straight on with the show, and it's going to be great. Take it away, London. <laughs> Tray anyway, oh, on top of a wireless. <laughs> I saw old Ken the other night at Miranda's. We were throwing a, a wine and cheese. Made an awful mess. <laughs> and he said to me, he said, Jewel, that's me, Julian Mintz at your service, given half the chance. <laughs> Jules, why not come on the old telly box? and spin one of your yarns. So, I toddled along, and here I am, present and correct of. <laughs> Any Rhoda, I racked up the old brain box and come up with the following. Billy Fox Montcrease, you remember Billy, used to place girls' bras in policemen's helmets. <laughs> Billy went to a party, and is his his wound, got Harry smashed out of what's left of his brain and left his coat there. You know, the old British one with the shampoo stain. <laughs> so, next morning, with the little man operating pneumatic drills in his bombs, thinks, oh my God, where was that party? My God, it's Dolly Hetherington. <laughs> See, old cow, no more that. Oh, yes, he couldn't remember where the party was. All he could remember is that they had a green door and a golden loo. Cross my heart and hope to work for a living. <laughs> so he sets off, finds the street, sees the green door, pops up to the green door, rings the bell, and this girl comes out and says, he says, is this the house with the golden loo? And the girl turns round and says, Quantum? Here's the insect who tiddled into your tuba. Please. Yes. It's not for me, it's for the drummer. <laughs> oh, very well. I hate cruises. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to Fulcrum. Tonight we have in the studio Mr. Nikolai Bugarov, a leader of the Russian trade delegation currently visiting this country. Mr. Bugarov, You've had extensive talks with government representatives about the ratification of trade agreements between our two countries. Are you 
optimistic at all about the outcome of these talks. Is on what to Gorenski aus jo the trade agreement that talk or no ni gal sa was in campus and ni gal sa un un peta dobra sa dobra. Oni mai, oni mai. Che garo is to roj o pidi bi sa rejimi. Koj ni u potru bjai gul kayeshki. He says he loves me very much. You're both adults and your life is your own. Now, getting back to the trade agreement, would it be true to say that the Russian initiative in this area is a hopeful sign? Uh, it's a good sign. 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 It's a well, your eyes are indeed very attractive, uh, but please don't think I'm upset in any way. I mean, if a man feels like that about another man, why not? I get. I mean, I have a very close relationship with my producer. That doesn't mean anything. And not that it matter would matter if it did. I mean, does His Excellency think um, that anything about the trade agreements is is uh, ratificatory at this time? Ratificatory, Otsky, as we say, we don't care if it's just a wish. I'm asking you, I don't want to be seen as somebody else. Well, I'm not going to be seen as somebody else. I'm going to be seen as somebody else. Yeah. 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 Talk about the he, he says that he wants to discuss the agreements with you alone in a hotel room tonight. I have to put my foot down. What are you trying to do? Your TV has to steal my man from me. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> you all the same trade agreements. Oh, my auntie Fanny. <laughs> Clock fans, and welcome to It's a Time Check, coming to you direct from Greenwich, and starring Doris Digit and Kenny Ding Dong. And now here's Kenny and Doris. Hi there, folks. I'm Kenny Ding Dong. And I'm Doris Digit. <laughs> and we're here on time with the time. So let's not waste time and get on with It's a Time Check! <laughs> The right time, right now, is exactly, and we mean exactly, 12 minutes and 30 seconds past 8 p.m. Time, 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 time. Yes, Greenwich Mean Time. And Greenwich means time. The only time worth spending your time on. And now, over to Doris and the World Clocks. Hello. <laughs> but have you know, here we are. Yes. And the time is exactly 12 minutes and 40 seconds past 8 p.m. That's the original Greenwich time for British use only, of course. Yes. <laughs> and as you can see, when the time leaves our shores, it gets faster or slower in various zones or foreign countries, as they're sometimes called, depending on all oh, east and west and the moon and tides and things like that. But remember, folks, we British don't mess around with any of that. We have the original time, British time, right here in Greenwich, where it all started. Know what I mean? Time, 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 Greenwich means time. Well, that about wraps it up for now. But before we go, let's take a look at what the time's going to be like tomorrow. <laughs> Well, it's pretty much the same as today, can you really? <laughs> It'll be um, a.m. at first, <laughs> then developing much later into p.m. <laughs> in the afternoon. So, until tomorrow at the same time, this is Kenny Ding Dong. And Doris Digit. Saying, have a good time all the time. And remember, it's British. Know what I mean? <laughs> Well, as you can see, it's carnival time here in Moscow, and these Russians really know how to put on a parade. 
None of those Mickey Mouse floats here. Who needs the south of France when you've got all this? The theme of the parade, as you can see, is world peace. They really know how to get a message across. Oh, here's a typical Russian standing right behind me. Let's have a little chat with him, shall we? Hi. We're here from the BBC doing links for the Kenny Everett television show. No? Um, well, we're going out live and everybody in England is watching you at this very moment. Is there anything you'd like to say or do or any message you'd like to give to the people of Britain? Could I do my Frankie Vaughan impression? Um, yes, okay. Give me the moonlight. Give me the cars. Give the rest to me. <laughs> Smoke? I certainly do. It's me, Marcel, ah oui, c'est moi. I'm here to talk of love, la mort. Who needs to talk? Just shut the door. It's a wrap. <laughs> I met a girl the other night. Not so cute, but fairly bright. I held her close, I smelled her breath. And then love died a natural death. It's a wrap. <laughs> the interview? Yes. You've got no chance. This is for head salesman, this is, mate. I mean, you've got a bit of style, a bit of class, a bit of charisma. I mean, who got you ready? What on what? <laughs> I'll have you know, I usually only wear this suit on Sundays. Sundays? <laughs> Do yourself a favour, go on home. You've got no chance. I mean, look at you and look at me. Is there a choice? I mean, I'm in the Savile Row threads, you're in shreds. I'm in the handmade <laughs> shoes, you're in ash packers. I've got the manicure. You've got the chicken figure that. I've got the Yves Saint Laurent cologne. You've got B.O. Yes, but you're all front, are you? What do you mean, front? Well, you've got the suit and the shoes and all that, but underneath all that, how do I know you're not wearing dirty underwear? Dirty underwear? <laughs> what? I'll have you know, mate, my underwear is imported from Paris. They have dirty underwear in Paris. <laughs> oh, my underpants are made of pure silk. They're white with red polka dots in pure silk. Well, we've only got your word for that. Oh, my word, mate. Oh, bloody well show you. Here. What do you think of that? <laughs> Who's next? Ah, uh, oh, must be you. Yes. Oh, I like your sweater. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>